Alrighty then, successful indie author, 5-Minute Focus, episode 768, Emotionally Spent. There's Stanley, he's hanging out. We haven't gone out yet, but soon. It's like 30 degrees, really nice out there. Alright, Emotionally Spent. This is a little different than the ephemeral writer's block. I'm not a big fan of writer's block. I know some people uh, uh, claim it and uh, will embrace it, but... uh, I, I think if you have a plan on the book, you have time set aside to write it. You may not want to write it because it's not the sexy parts of the book. It may be a transition. It may be a scene setup. <clears throat> That's different. That's an internal motivation. Get it done and move on. But this is emotionally spent. You're exhausted, and you can't put your finger on it. Even if you slept well, you're still not sure what's going on. Your creative brain is suffering. And I, I ran through this last week, just things uh, 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 dragging me down, all of the nitnoid details. I like having a list of things I need to do each day. And, oh, by the way, here's 20 extra things that you need to do, and your tractor isn't starting. So now you have to organize that and get it to the shop to get fixed. And all different kinds of things came up, and I was, I was exhausted. So it took me two days of not writing anything in order to knock down a bunch of other stuff on my list and get back to where I was. Do you know what stresses me out? Having stuff to do and not doing it. So I rest, but in little snippets. And sometimes my rest involves doing all those little things on the list to knock knock them off the list and get it back into a position where I can focus on what I need to focus on, which is writing a book. you got to have that creative brain engaged. It's not unlike depression, but it's easier to get past because this is, a, <clears throat> this is your emotional well-being. You could get over it in hours. You could get over it in a couple days. But here's the, here's the, here's the uh, uh, ticker on that. The longer you put it off, the longer you fight through it, the longer it will take to recover from. <clears throat> so if you start feeling it, you can maybe fight through it, especially if you can get some things done. That in itself is exhilarating, and you can move on. But if you can't, then you need to put everything aside. You need to change your deadlines. Get rest. And even if it's exhilarating, because some people's idea of rest is going on a 100-mile bike ride or, or going for a run or going on a hike and doing physical things that get the heart pumping, <clears throat> get that brain uh, uh, flow going, all those good things that happen when you do something that's good for your body. So that could be a rest as well, but because it's a rest from the emotional challenge of being creative. As a full-time author, being creative is something you have to do every single day, every single day. Even if you're not writing today, you're still being creative because you're thinking up plots, you're thinking up how this story is going to go, you're thinking up uh, uh, you're thinking up phraseology, different word choices that you might make, uh, plot uh, subplots that you may have left open unintentionally that you need to fix. All of those things are happening in your mind, even if you're resting. So you've got to, uh, well, not if you're resting, but those things happen on a work day, even if you're not writing. So you're always using your creative brain as, a, as an author. <clears throat> Rest is something to take your mind off that, whether it's just uh, immersing yourself in a new TV show, binge watch for a day, uh, but uh, Understanding that you're going to get back to it. If it's easy to not write, then you have to question, is this the right profession for you? If, you, if every day gets easier and easier to not write, then maybe writing isn't good for you. Maybe writing isn't right. But most people, most authors I know, as it goes on, are like, geez, I, I really got to get back to jamming those words. The, stories, the story has to get out. Those are your authors. Those are the people who will get through any kind of emotional turmoil, but the longer you take, all you're going to do is, is give yourself some punishment. If you're, <clears throat> if you're emotionally spent and you keep trying to force through it, you're punishing yourself for, for getting words. And that's what your body will remember, is that I'm being punished for writing. You don't want to ever be punished for writing. The longer you fight it, the longer you'll be offline and not doing what you profess to love to do, which is write and tell stories. Yes, you have to do the other stuff, the business stuff, the marketing stuff. 
but 50% of your day is still should be writing because you're the talent. You've got to make the talent, uh, you've got to treat the talent well <clears throat> and let it create. And don't let all that other stuff wear you down. But if it does, make sure, make sure you rest that you need, whether it's doing something exhilarating or just not writing. Writing sh Not writing shouldn't be easy, but sometimes it's necessary. And you have to do, you have to take care of the talent. So emotionally spent, if you're emotionally spent, and you'll know it because you're just going to sit there like a lump. You're not, you're not uh, clinically depressed. You're just sitting there like a lump thinking, uh, oh, my God, I just, I, I, I'm not doing anything. Sometimes that is the answer. Go do nothing. Go out in the living room and do nothing. And you might see it could work wonders for you. Peace, fellow humans.